Tonight I've pulled out one of my favorite pieces of memorabilia. It's a scrapbook. Uh, actually, it's dated uh, October 1950. And it's titled The Future Home of Mr. and Mrs. And it has blanks. So my assumption is it was, uh, in fact, done by June Piercy in October of 1950, probably as a school project or uh, perhaps a Girl Scouts project, something like that. Um, kind of interesting. The really sort of intriguing thing about this one is that not only does it give you the actual house and the rooms and so forth for this uh, future Mr. and Mrs. home here, but it also gives you, very interestingly, uh, here we see the plans for the uh, uh, garage. Uh, the house itself was about a thousand square feet and the garage about 250 square feet. What is really fascinating about this is it actually gives you the prices of the furniture. For instance, here we see the living room and we have um, the different prices of the items, the rug, end table, uh, drapes, fireplace screen, uh, floor lamp, table lamp, for a total of twelve hundred and eleven dollars in this 1950s house um, here we see the living room diagram and then here she even actually cut out from magazines um, pictures of different arrangements and then the cost of the items for instance the um, rugs at eleven ninety five per yard uh, fireplace twenty five dollars a lamp six dollars uh, here's the phonograph set I remember seeing these as a kid uh, hundred and fifty dollars which is a lot of money in nineteen fifty uh, here are some other sort of arrangements so apparently she got most of these ideas out of magazines and here we have the uh, dining room. She actually, it looks like, um, measured and scaled all of these herself. There's quite a bit of uh, work that went into this. Here we see the dining room budget uh, furniture. And, for instance, the uh, table and chairs run about $400. The china cabinet, $47. Um... Two damask tablecloths and napkins, nine dollars. The silver was ninety dollars. Picture of the Last Supper, four dollars. Um, a rug, wall-to-wall -wall rug, was two hundred eighty-seven dollars for the. So the total um, cost drapes fifteen dollars for the dining room was a little over a thousand dollars. And here we have the fifties dining room um, and examples of the tablecloth, the silverware. The lamp. Many of these, for instance, this tablecloth has a price of four dollars and fifty cents on it. There. Um, here is a bedroom, and of course, as things were back then, they were a lot less cluttered than we have things now. Although it appears this is becoming more of the uh, modern bedroom. As you can see here, um, for instance, here uh, the twin bed is fifty-five dollars. Uh, the radio is twenty dollars, and a crucifix two fifty. So I assume they were Catholics, or this young, young girl was a Catholic, and we can see the radio. Um, the master bedroom. Uh, here is the plan for that. Double bed cost one hundred eighty dollars. Um, the drapes eleven dollars. Two bed lamps twelve dollars and fifty cents. So the total to furnish the bedroom was two hundred and forty eight dollars. Another radio, um, the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen was incredible here because uh, she itemized not only the bigger things such as the uh, stove one hundred fifty dollars, refrigerator one hundred eighty nine dollars. But also the dishes, the coffee maker was three dollars, the double boiler, uh, the griddle. Muffin pan, mix master was uh, twenty four dollars. Incredibly, the prices of October nineteen fifty on all of these items, which would be quite a bit of work if you were trying to go back and research that today. Um, and of course, here is the nineteen fifties kitchen, the nineteen fifties refrigerator.
stove, appliances. Actually, you can see many things like refrigerators and stove pretty much stay the same. We have uh, other furnishings, the um, mixing bowl, silverware, additional um, the drapes, the bathroom. Uh, the toilet was, for instance, was thirty-five dollars. Uh, the scatter rug was three dollars and fifty-five cents. Scale six dollars and ninety-eight cents. Um, the shower curtain was three dollars and seventy-eight cents. So to furnish the bathroom was a total of about seventy-two dollars. The laundry. Oh, well, this is really an interesting gizmo here. The uh, ironer here. But there we see the washing machine looks more or less like it uh, was then. However, the washer and dryer unit was about $400. Fairly expensive for back then. Um, hot water heater was $90. Furnace and air conditioner, $850. Garden hose, $3.59. And the broom and dustpan, $1.69. Total for the laundry room was about $1,600. Linen uh, costs were uh, about $100. She gives all the pieces, um, and even down to the towels. Interestingly enough, at the end here, here are the expenses. The uh, house, for the wiring, the plumbing, the labor, and so forth was $12,000. All the furnishings were a little over $5,000, so the total dream house for the Mr. and Mrs. was about $17,000. This was in uh, October of 1950, another day, another time another era.